And hello YouTube, GS Mam Smart here, and in today's video we're gonna be teaching you how to get the secret hidden dark mode for YouTube, a new feature rolled out, as well as showing you how to get the new YouTube layout as well. That's coming up next. What's up everybody, GS Man Smart here with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Welcome back to another video. If this happens to be your first time here on the channel, watch one of my videos. I want to welcome you as well and hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. I also encourage you to subscribe because we have plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding computer tech tutorials, editing tutorials, software tutorials, Adobe tutorials, image editing, video editing, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in tech, if you're interested in software, would highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that post notification bell button so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. All right, so here we are on youtube.com and this feature might be a feature that's coming out very soon. I have seen this new layout and this dark mode in incognito mode in Chrome before. So this feature and this layout may be coming very soon to all of us. Uh, however, you can get an early, early access, I believe, through a piece of code through the developer console in Chrome. I'm not sure if you can do this on Firefox, Edge, or other browsers. You can try if there's a developer mode where you can type in some code. If not, you'll probably have to wait till it gets released. But the first step you wanna do is make sure your Chrome is up to date. So here in settings in the about section, your Chrome should be up to date with 57 or higher. If you don't know how to get here, you click the little uh, three buttons uh, at the very top, the three dots. You go to settings and then you go to about here and it'll check if your Chrome is up to date. If it is, you're good to go on to the next step. Then we're gonna head over here to youtube.com. Go ahead and hit control shift I or command shift I if you are on a Mac and then paste in the code here that I have in the description of this video. So you can either copy it from the screen here or scroll down to the description and copy it and paste it into the console here. If you don't know where the console is, at the very top here, there are tabs. So click the console tab. It may bring you here first. It may bring you here first, but make sure you hit the console tab and then paste your code here. Once you have that done, go ahead and press enter and you should see a message, a little small red message that says that it worked. If you see a red icon with a red background, a highlight, a red highlight with uh, some sort of error code, then you did it wrong. You have to make sure that this message pops up. After that, you can go ahead and close this and we can go ahead and refresh the page. You can also try to uh, restart your browser as well. And would you look at that? This is the new layout. Compared to the old layout, it looks a bit more spacey, uh, especially between uh, sections it looks a bit more compact between videos. You can see the left side here also uh, has some newer icons here. Pretty much looks the same though. But if you click your icon on the top here, you'll see the new little flyout window. And one of the options here says dark mode. It's off right now, but if you were to click it and you were to change this to on, this is YouTube dark mode. And it looks pretty cool. I think I like this mode a lot more. This is the same mode they have on the YouTube gaming section that is pretty much dark mode. So I really like this. And you'll notice that when we head to our channel, actually, so if we go to my tutorials channel, because I'm logged into my vlogging channel right now, you'll see this is the up to date uh, layout as well. The, the banner is a bit more stretched out. We also see they change the uh, other channels that are featured on your channel, the circular icons. And the other cool thing also that I noticed is obviously at the top here, uh, some of these are plugins that I have running like uh, Vid, VidQ and TubeBuddy. But if you go to a video, for example, they've changed the layout a bit here as well. As you can see, the likes and dislikes look a bit different now. There's a lot more uh, room here in the description section of the video. It looks a bit bigger, the icons are a bit bigger, and the views are actually a lot smaller here. As you can see, they're not a huge number on the right side here anymore. I guess they are trying to make uh, the post notification bell and the subscribe button a lot more visible and a lot more important than the actual views. So that's pretty much the new layout for YouTube. Comments look about the same, but I gotta tell you, this looks pretty awesome. I like the way this looks, I like the new layout. And I definitely like the dark mode. So if you want to get this version of YouTube, just follow the steps I showed in this video. And leave your comment down below if you happen to like this uh, layout. Do you think it could 
be better? Do you think you'd rather like the old classic version? If you do like the old classic version, you can always go back. You can go ahead and click restore the classic YouTube. However, there may be a few things that look weird and misconfigured. So I would highly recommend you to, instead of going back to classic, just head to the top here, click your three little buttons, three little dots, go to settings and scroll down in the main section, go to the advanced section and go to clear browsing data. And here, just go ahead and clear your cookies. If you clear your cookies, then this will basically uh, restore YouTube back to its classic view because this is a cookie that we're enabling. So this is much better than to just go back to classic because I feel like there's still a few bugs with this. This is early access. As you can see, they haven't really fully implemented it yet. But through a code, you can get it by activating one of the cookies. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other software tutorials, tech tutorials, computer tutorials on the channel that I think you'd find interesting. So I highly encourage you to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below. If you run into any trouble, leave a comment down below. Uh, most of the time, if you do run into a problem, just clearing your browsing data and clearing your cookies can pretty much solve everything. You can start from the beginning again. If you want to check out one of my recent videos, go ahead and click the annotation right here. If you want to check out another video that might interest you, click the annotation here. If you want to check out my other YouTube channels, such as the gaming channel, vlogging channel, other ones, click the annotation here. And if you want to be so kind, donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can click the annotation here. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSMAM Smart. And I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.